Well guys, got a bit of a video for you here. Well, um, this is a follow-up video to the Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate unboxing video. Um, as you see here, we have the Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate. We're going to um, do an install on the main rig. We're going to do an install of the software right now. So, of course, um, you know, digging in there, just like I showed on the unboxing video, dig out the little uh, packet here with the installation uh, disc in it. Take uh, said installation disc and insert her in the uh, little um, driver port thingamadoogle there. And uh, pretty much let the computer take her from there. So once you've got her all inserted in there, the uh, computer starts going to work, reading the disc, uh, deciding, um, you know, which uh, course, of course of action to proceed. And of course, a little uh, window there pops up there on the screen. Um, says uh, BD-ROM Drive E Pinnacle Studio Run Welcome, you know, EXE. Well, of course, you want to uh, click on the Run Welcome. And of course, it asks you for permission to, uh, you know, for this program to make changes to the computer. So again, click on yes if you agree. Then the next window that pops up wants you to select the language for the installation. And you have um, several different ones ranging from Chinese to to English, to French, German, Italian, Dutch, Korean, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish. Now, um, of course, I'm going to choose the English option, then uh, clicking OK. Another window pops up. We are preparing your system to install Pinnacle Studio. Please wait. And, of course, uh, another screen pops up uh, wanting the serial number of the software. Now, if you've purchased a legal copy, um, example from electronics retail store, it should have a serial number on it. If it's a, um, a legal copy or something you've downloaded, then uh, the serial number, of course, uh, won't match up with what's in the system. And uh, that's another, you know, challenge right there. So once you've um, registered your product, another screen pops up. Basically, it says, thanking you for registering and it tells you you have full product support and uh, click OK and then she pretty much uh, starts running the standard uh, installation you have um, two modes to choose from you have your standard installation you have a customized installation or you have a user guide of course, I'm just going to do the standard install. Of course, the next screen that pops up tells you what you're going to be installing onto your computer. Um, Pinnacle Studio Application Standard Contact Pack Red Giant Filmmakers Tool Kit uh, Red Giant Motion Graphics Tool Kit Hollywood FX Volume 1 through 3 Volume Pack, uh, Premium Volume Pack 1 through 3, Score Fitter Volume 1 through 2, and Creative Volume Pack 1, and Title Extreme. So if you agree with all that, you want that installed, uh, down here at the bottom you see there's a nice handy dandy install button. We'll give that a click on there. So guys, basically it's running through the installation process here. What I'll do is I'll uh, keep you guys watching the screen however I'll probably throw you on some arcane fire and ice music here just to pass the time by
After it's gone on and done all the configurings and all that, she goes to another screen. It says, Welcome to the Install Shield for Wizard for Pinnacle Studio 16. Basically, it says, um, This is a step by step guide to install it on. And really, all this does is pretty much uh, does all the hard work for you. And uh, all you really got to do is click uh, the next button, um, kind of sitting right there. And, uh, you know, it does it all from there. So we'll click the next. And, of course, like a lot of the uh, software and all that good stuff you're going to find nowadays has a licensing agreement. Basically, it just says you're not going to reproduce this and modify it and, you know, resell it for a million dollars or nothing. And after you've done all the licensing, it goes to another screen here where it's basically a commercial for the Pinnacle Studio uh, line of software. You know, you have your Pinnacle uh, Studio Basics, your Pinnacle Studio Plus, and in what we're installing, the Pinnacle Studio Ultimate. Pinnacle Studio uh, includes a 15 gigabyte of free cloud storage from Box after product registration. So apparently I've got 50 gigs of um, imaginary storage space up in the cloud somewhere. Um, that'd be kind of nice to have. Uh, maybe I could store some of my lawnmowers up there or uh, assorted other goodies that I don't want kicking around the garage. It's always good to have extra storage space. And of course... Um, Modern technology being what it is, you can have your, uh, there's an app available for Pinnacle Studio for your, you know, your iPads and all that good stuff you have nowadays. So after it's gone through the menu and installed the features as you see uh, right there, a little green uh, little icon box thingy says uh, everything's been installed successfully. So after you've done the uh, install on that, you see there's an icon right up here on the desktop, Pinnacle Studio 16. So what we'll do is we'll give the... Um, computer a restart here and then she should be all good to uh, to open the project and then she should be all good to uh, start and so what was um, 25 minutes for me passed uh, in a fraction of time for you guys uh, we just installed the complete software of Pinnacle Studio 16 Ultimate on the uh, desktop and once she's all uh, restarted and good to go, we can pretty much open up the software, take the, you know, kind of first steps into it, the guided tour, if you will, and start our editing. Now, for more info on this product, as well as watching tutorial videos, um, you know, search around online as well as YouTube. There are more videos out there that go in depth in the there are more videos out there that go in depth in the process more than what I've covered. 
So, as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.